What's up, guys? Scott Martin here. Just finished the Force Week Cup. Finished fifth. Okay, awesome. I really wanted to win this thing. We, I had a chance to uh, finish a little higher. Had a couple of lost opportunities, but all in all, pretty good week. You know, my success this week came on lots of different lures. Uh, tight lines UV, little swim bait on, on jig heads. The fish head spin with little kitex on the back of it. Uh, uh, a river to sea rover I caught several key fish on. And then even today, believe it or not, caught on Jacob Wheeler's buzz bait. Picked it up out of nowhere, started throwing the buzz bait around and caught some key fish. So there's a lot of different baits that were uh, that, that 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 played a part in this success, but there's a couple things that are really key. Number one, my Garmin Electronics, the Pan Optics. I was able to really look around, find the brush piles, find the bait, find the, the fish, make accurate presentations to them. That was awesome. Now, schooling fish was the key to my success. I caught really key, really nice fish every morning on these schoolers, and here's why Akuma rods played such a huge part in it. My TCS rods, I designed a rod for them, maybe 13 of them, but there's one called the Power Crank. The Power Crank is a 7-Eleven, it's a medium heavy. If you're gonna throw a fish head spin or a small swim bait, you need to buy the 7-Eleven Power Crank Akuma TCS rod, put it on a Helios reel, rig it up in a 10 or 4 pound line, whatever you like. You can throw that thing, it launches a fish head in a swim bait, like yards. It is completely crazy how far you can throw it and how consistent you can throw it. So I would see a fish break 60 yards away in the wind and make a cast and land on it and catch that fish. And that's because the rod action would load it up and the length would throw it far and the reel didn't backlash. And then with the P-line, the four carbon was awesome. So that was a real, I mean, there's no way I'd be standing here right now and getting this interview if I didn't have that rod set up the way I did.